Welcome back. You know, I had a thought after the end of the last episode. We have all the stars now, right? I actually want to go take some time to drop them off and see what happens when we do that. And then we'll continue on with the rest of these puzzles. I've been really enjoying this game. It seems like we're approaching the end, although... I think there's still at least another couple episodes ahead of us, if I had to guess, based on how the, the story is going. We don't know what's inside the, the megastructure the last time, and I don't know how much time we'll spend in the city figuring out the whole election stuff that supposedly is coming up based on the achievement names that I've seen. So, uh... Yeah, I'm curious to see how this can work out. And I think the gold doors, even if we get all the puzzles done, they might not open until we do the last megastructure as well, because the megastructure size seem to appear on the gold doors as well. But we can do the stars now, I think. I don't think we can get an angle to see the lasers have activated on the opposite side of the megastructure. We'd have to go, like, way over here, maybe. And we might be able to see them, just barely. If nothing happens when we do this, <laughs> then, uh... I'm going to be quite perplexed. We might have to come back after the megastructure thing again. Counts for everything. It explains every aspect of the cosmos. There are no gaps, no errors, not even ambiguities. And it works, which is the ultimate proof. I can calculate the history of the universe from the Big Bang to the death of the last atom, but when I compare my calculations to the available data, there's one point which consistently doesn't match up. Billions of light years away in the void, there's an anomaly. It's been there since before the beginning of time, and uh, Outer I Wilds. Think it's waiting for us. Outer Wilds. The Edge of Forever. Discover a vision of things to come. Oh, that's going to be some DLC for sure. <laughs> I knew it! It is aliens! Take that, everyone who doubted me! It's freaking aliens! It may be aliens, but it's so far away that it isn't going to matter for several billion years, if it ever does. Nevertheless, I knew it would be aliens eventually, and I was right. <laughs> for a very broad definition of right. <laughs> Let him have it. <laughs> oh... Not sure where we can see that again. Well. Interesting. The Eye of the Universe. Y'all should play Outer Wilds if you haven't already. Trust me, it's worth it. Go in with as little information as you can. It's not for everyone, but it is for most people. And I'm confident that you will like it. Especially if you've been watching my videos. Right, and that gold door, I think, doesn't open until we do all the gold puzzles themselves, so... Let's get back in there and do the rest of these main puzzles. Oh, I should've tried the fast travel. Oh well. Yeah, we'll do two later. Let's go to six. It's over here somewhere. Six is the one that I think we popped in briefly for the Prometheus Spark. 
But since we left and returned, I'm pretty sure the pill's been reset. So, don't have to worry about that. And it had the, the uh, carrying plate in there, so... I wonder if there's no clone, then maybe we have to put stuff in the fan, and then walk into the fan with the carrying plate and pick up stuff ourselves that way. That would be my guess. Mobile instruments. If that's the case, we probably want to connect everything up in advance, right? There's nothing in here but the box. Oh, but there's a vantage point inside there. Why, though? Oh, because that's where we're going to drop it off. Okay. So we probably want to connect it to there as well. Yeah, we just- let's just connect it everything. I'm pretty sure we'll need it. Alright. And here goes the moment of truth. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Oh, yes. Yay! <laughs> I like that. I was right! Alright, puzzle have seven. Have you found any signs of Cornelius? Could he have returned to the island? Nothing so far. But he knows this place better than any of us, and we have no idea what he's up to. Puzzle number seven. Gate we switch. Interesting. This puzzle starts out with something that we can just bootstrap like that. We want to use it to get the jammer out, though. And how would we do that? Hmm, I think I see. Yeah, so we have the ladder here, okay. Alright. That lets us out of here. And now we can do this. Um, actually let's do this. There we go, now we can take the jammer out. I think we need to use the jammer to control which one of these is open at any given time. Ooh. Almost. There we go, that should work. Yeah, that's a slight issue. Or not. But we can use one to bootstrap and then the other will cancel it out. Ooh, we need to bootstrap with both, apparently. Okay. I can do that. There we go.
Nice! I like this. <laughs> Yay! That's a fun one. I like that. I'm not surprised that the founder chose you, 1K. You're very much like her. Inquisitive, intelligent, and dedicated. But remember, intelligence by itself has little value unless it is ethically applied. Yeah, I agree. I just think that our ethics are a bit different from each other. <laughs> Such a good song. Gold Puzzle Activation Theory from Melville. I'm basing this on the Athena's descriptions of the simulation and with little since I've managed to make of the mega structure systems. I think the gold puzzles are meant to open up when every other puzzle has been solved, and solving them will lead to something. In the simulation, trying to solve every puzzle instead of trying to defy Elohim was actually negative. No idea if the same applies here. In any case, I suspect the puzzles won't open up until Byron's logged out. They represent the highest level of security and undoubtedly hide something important. And as long as an unauthorized user is logged in, the system will stay in some degree of lockdown. Yep, so we do have to go to the mega structure for doing the gold puzzles. Alright, puzzle number eight. Photon Sail. Ooh, I like that name. That name sounds fun. <laughs> what is this that we have here? A fizzler suspended in the air. How curious. And a fan. Oh, goodness. Is this the first time we've had a fizzler horizontally like this? Does that mean we can place objects to walk on it? By walking on the objects, but we'll fall through ourselves. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> Pretty sure Portal 2 custom maps have some puzzles like that. Okay, this is the box room. Everybody pay your respects to the boxes. That's just a fan for getting into the box room. Okay. Yeah. Whee! Yeah? Okay. I'm curious. I don't know the answer to this question. Can we walk on fans? Probably not, right? First of all, what happens here? Yeah! <laughs> that works exactly like how I expected it to. But we can't walk on it. Okay. That answers my question, at least. Whoopsie. Alright. Can we take the box from here? No. Obviously we can't... Can't jump while on the swap pedestal, it won't let us. Uh... Hmm. And we can't get back inside. I am perplexed. Can we reach the swap pedestal from here? I don't think so. How do we get this box out then? This this fan's permanent. As in we can't remove it. Am I missing something? Yeah, I can't can't do anything about that. Uh hmm. How doth one get this box out of here? How do we bring something in? I guess this box has to stay here, kind of, because otherwise we have nothing to swap with. And nothing- I mean, no way to get back out of here. Because if we get in here with a box out of here, then we're stuck, right? Oh, 
but we need the boxes, don't we? What am I missing here? Oh, that's what I'm missing. We can get this here, at least. Oopsie. Bring an item to swap. Ooh. Okay, so we can... As long as we don't ever jump in here again, we're good. This will let us take... Careful, careful! Okay. <laughs> Now we have both boxes out of there. Okay. So, we don't need you anymore. We can put that there, and we are done. And now... Is our- is our sail. Yay! Game of Leapfrog. Yay! Wow, that one was a mind bender. <laughs> Not really. You just the only thing that was tricky about it is that part there. This part's just for fun. And I appreciate the fun. That's not where I expect that to, expected that to go. Alright, enough messing around. Let's get out of here. Yep, all we've got left is puzzle number two. I have no idea how to do that one. Oh, come on. You know you want to. Oh, it doesn't want me down here now. Really now. Okay, it just slides me off. They really don't want me to walk along the railing and drop into the gold puzzle. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, was there anything new to read? No, okay. Just these two connectors. I do not understand.
Or do I? Hey, was that it? Is that all I needed to do? Okay. Well, I'm glad I figured that out finally. Puzzle Fiend, solve all regular puzzles. Alright, 8 out of 8 main, 2 out of 2 lost. Can't do that yet. Yep, done that, done that. Out of curiosity. 100%, 100%, 0, 100%, 100%. Okay. Well, I guess it's all story from here on out. Let's go for it, then. Did we find a Stratton in this area? I don't think we did. Or did we? Yeah, we have nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Does that mean we're missing some? There should be 12, right? Well. I think we did find one here. It's kind of annoying that it doesn't track it on the interface, though, so you don't know where you found them and where you haven't. Hmm. Anyway. We'll get them... We can always find them on the way when we're getting the gold puzzles. I might do some editing for that. I might have to look it up, to be honest. Tempted to walk around the edge. We can do that on the way out. Prometheus is my guess. Yeah. You have heard the myths of gods and titans. But as you approach the end of your journey, I will tell you the truth that all men fear. The truth that neither Pandora nor the Sphinx will face. There are no gods, son of man. There are no titans, no heroes to save you, no divine judge to weigh your soul against a feather. Nature has no will, and she is not your mother. There is only you, and the spark of the sublime that is your mind. As for myself, I never brought the flame to humankind as the stories tell. I only showed you where it was within yourselves. Our choices are, what is the sublime? All myths have an element of truth. You're wrong. Nature is a living force. It has a purpose and will. We must learn to wield the flame to illuminate the universe. I just need you to help me find Byron. Oh. There is only you and the spark of the sublime that is your mind. So asking what sublime is would be kind of foolish because it's obviously consciousness or <laughs> he already told us.
Yes, this is your duty. Your friend Byron understands this. As you freed me, so I will help you free your friend. When you are within Olympus, follow my signs. Achievement. All right, it's time to do this. Let's go get Byron. Oh, we can walk on this up to a point. Interesting. And nothing here. All right. Can't blame me for trying. Hey, we can get back up here. <laughs> Excuse me. Here we go. Byron always called me a pessimist, but I don't think it's pessimistic to recognize our flaws. Or to think the natural world is just as valuable as we are. If I was pessimistic, I wouldn't believe that we can turn our back on the old ways, or that we can find happiness in humility. But I do. I have hope, even if Byron could never see it that way. K, a word, please, without the streaming. I'm sure you're aware that the situation in New Jerusalem is shifting. People are losing faith in the goal. You've had a part in that, and not only through your discoveries. No, not at all. I would have had the same doubts in your place. In many ways, you're entirely right. Look, let me speak plainly for a moment. You and I both know that I exaggerated. I built a myth around Athena that does not reflect what she believed. But you have to understand, it wasn't really about her. It was about what the city needed. It was about keeping us together, invested in a common narrative and it was about preventing us from going the way of our ancestors. Because temptation is real, and our flaws are still the same. A myth, but a necessary one. I'm not a fanatic or a fool, 1K, although I sometimes play one. I'm just trying to do the right thing. I know I can't stop you from trying to save Byron, but what's in that pyramid could destroy everything I've tried to build. The myth of the gold must be preserved to prevent us from repeating the mistakes of our ancestors. I share your fear of the theory of everything, but we can't build the future on a lie. Your myth is strangling our entire species, Herman. You can shove your gold where the sun don't shine. <laughs> I think I haven't considered it. I listened to those Alexandra Drennan recordings over and over. I just don't know if she was right about us. But maybe I did lose my way. Very well. I've done what I could. You do as you must. Good luck. 
Well, that worked out way better than I expected it to. He's not too bad a guy after all, I suppose. We all have our flaws. And I guess that's why Athena wanted to jolt us out of that. And this was his moment of being jolted out of that. Let's go. You're coming along this time? Yep. Well, what about protocol? Screw protocol. It's Byron. And the mayor is behind it anyway. <laughs> Here we go. Will there be puzzles, yes or no? Take your guesses now. If you've already played, do not guess. But if you haven't played, then what are you doing watching this? Go play. There's Byron. Follow my sprite, and it will show you the way to your friend. Do as he says. We went through a lot of trouble to get this guy out of his chains. Now it's his turn to help. This way. You must free him. He cannot free himself. It was another direction I thought I saw. What? What's happening? 1K? I, I... I'm out. Oh, my friend, the things that I saw, the... The power of this machine. The depth of her grief. Come on, follow me. I have to show you something. I thought all of this was deliberate. Athena testing us to see if we're worthy of her invention. I wanted to believe that she had a plan. In my own way, I mythologized her as much as everyone else. I never thought she might feel confused, lonely, uncertain. And what's the most human thing to do when you feel lost and sad and you have no idea what to do next? You take a nap. Here, listen. If I give them the machine, if I convince them of its power, we could finally build the world Alexandra imagined. The world Miranda deserved. No, the world we all deserve, even the worst of us. We could take stewardship of this planet. We could explore the stars. We could give meaning to the universe. If you embrace the knowledge of the flame, you can bring light into the darkness. But what if they make the same mistakes again? What if selfishness and stupidity win out again? What if they take my machine and turn it into a weapon? Yeah, this is how I what thought. What if they act like children and burn the planet? The secrets of the flame are not for ordinary mortals to know. You cannot overcome your sinful nature. Yep, you different aspects of Athena. It's her, it's all her. Everything we're seeing is Athena. Her every hope, her every fear, all of her memories and contradictions brought to life by the machine. 
a dream given form expressed in the language of her childhood. A world of puzzles and towers. No, what can I do? How do I make this decision? There has to be an answer. There has to be a way of making sure it's the right choice. It can't just be a leap of faith. There are no answers, creature of clay. Every question leads to another. She's not waiting for us to prove ourselves before she helps us. She needs us to help her. We have to wake her up. Whoops. The system is still stabilizing. Maybe we'd better get out. Come on. No! I cannot allow this. Uh oh. Uh oh, indeed. Act 5, Full Fathom 5. You have suffered a grievous injury, my child. But do not lose faith. Your companions have not forgotten you. And it is through the bonds that you have forged that you will be saved. Whoa, loading. Welcome back to the land of the living. For a while there, I thought we might have to reset you. We think you and Byron got hit by some kind of energy discharge, knocked both of you out. Alcatraz, Melville and Yakut went looking for you, but you were hard to find, and even harder to fix. It's been several weeks. He's fine, don't worry. A lot has changed. While you were asleep, the idea of the goal cracked and then broke. People decided they wanted change. They wanted the ideals of Athena, not the founder. A better world of growth and exploration, but without the mistakes of the past. And so they turned to Byron, who never wavered in his beliefs. He's mayor now. Oh. The question is, what do you plan to do now? So, the game is tracking my choices throughout the whole game, and that's how it decides who gets to be mayor at this point. Interesting. And what about the theory of everything? If that's your choice, you should speak to Byron. He's waiting for you outside. We're all in this together, 1K. One way or another. I was not expecting this at all. <laughs> yep, there it is. A new beginning help Byron get elected mayor. That's one of the achievements that I saw. I did not expect this. I thought we were going to go back to the New Jerusalem and go around talking to people and such, but nope. It was paying attention to my choices throughout the game. <laughs> Yep. We can go in here now. The philosopher must be like the architect. To write well is important, but not more important than building an edifice that will not collapse. Some philosophers construct dwellings that seem pleasant to the eye, but are traps for the unwary. By Stratton. If, then, a machine may have all the properties of a man, and act as a man while driven only by the ingenious plan of its construction and the interaction of its materials according to the principles of nature, then does it not follow that man may also be seen as a machine? Another Stratton quote. Philosophy has only two purposes, to describe the world and to change it. Everything else is vanity and self-delusion. It behooves us to be cautious when particularly taken with any philosopher's claims, and to consider whether our reaction is due to the logic of his claim or due to the poetry of his words. A beautifully phrased sentence is an accomplishment in oratory, not philosophy. 
and the pleasure we take from it should not be mistaken for truth. Wise words indeed. Byron. Thrupai. Sun. Aurora. Cornelius. Eustathius. Malampus. Lestrazir. Benaroya. Nyam. Hypatia. Yemo. Malampus again, yeah. Well, this is neat. Hello, Byron. <laughs> it's still strange when people call me that. You know, it's funny. Asking you to come along on the expedition was an impulse, but it was probably the most momentous decision I made. You changed everything. But the story's not over yet. We do. She gave everything she had for this city. And I don't think any of us really understood it. Not even me. We all tried to turn her into a prophet when she was just... a human being. Athena's dreams. A recursive loop of hopes and fears. And my own foolishness for thinking I had been abandoned when I had been given a chance to grow up, to stand for my own ideas. Well, luckily this time, we shouldn't have any trouble getting another expedition approved. I hear the mayor is a big fan of Athena <laughs> and is very interested in her theory of everything. In fact, I think he's having a veto prepared as we speak. There's just one thing you have to take care of first. Speak to Melville and Yakut. They were part of the beginning. They can be part of the end, if they want to. I'll take care of the rest. Okay, no social media updates yet. All right. Interesting. We can finally explore this area without it being a cutscene. That's nice. Yep. This is basically an expanded out version of the of the spot where the ending of the first game took place. Ah, memories. <laughs> oh, we could definitely jump if we tried. I bet. I'm not gonna risk it, though. There might be an invisible wall to stop me from doing that, but... Eh, <laughs> it doesn't feel like it. There's the corner of the Dome of New Jerusalem. You're going back, aren't you? We are. We can't leave Athena trapped. But you're not going to shut the machine down, are you? No. Then... Let me just say this, okay? I understand what you believe in. I really do. I've always respected your vision of the future, Byron. It's beautiful. It's moving. But just consider that maybe there is another way. A way that is more humble and 
may be less exciting, but no less beautiful. Just consider that maybe that machine doesn't have any answers for us. None that really matter. We don't need a theory of everything to be happy. It was never just about happiness, Hal. But thank you for your honesty. I'll see you at the veto. All right. City news. Axiothea, in addition to the previously announced new scouting and scavenging expeditions and the reactivation of the abandoned mining and factory projects, Mayor Byron has asked citizens to submit ideas for other possible undertakings, which are to be discussed at the next public assembly after Mayor Byron returns from the megastructure. Places of Longin, New Jerusalem. I yearn for a city that does not yet exist. It is a wealthy city, abundant, prosperous, full of life and energy. But its prosperity is not like that of the cities of old, a thin golden layer over a cesspool of misery. No, its riches are deep. They permeate its every street. They fill it with depth and texture. It is a city of delights, of secrets, of surprises, always growing, always changing. It's every citizen partaking of its joys, as well as its tragedies. I do not think this is the last city, the one where our journey will end. I think it is the first. Yeah. Oh yeah, so I was, I was gonna... I was, there was kind of a cutscene going on as I was trying to say it, but yeah, I was... I don't know if I said it out loud in a previous episode, but... I was thinking about how... The, uh... Prometheus, the Sphinx, and Pandora were all sort of... Three opposing viewpoints. And, you know, I originally said something like, you know, one could be Athena, one could be Miranda, and one could be Cornelius. But, uh, it is interesting. I like that approach they went with it all being the, the part, the different parts of Athena's mind, you know, being unsure how to win out against each other. That's a very, it's very cool. I like it. And it was something I kind of considered, but never really fully thought it through, didn't say it aloud. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate the game going that direction. I like it. Things are finally getting better. Yeah, no sparks this time. Attention all citizens. A scavenging expedition to the Western Ruins will set out next week. If you'd like to participate, please get in touch with Garrus. For most people, this will be the third time in the city. For me, it's the second, because I didn't do it at the beginning. <laughs> Ah. I wonder who else there is to talk to about stuff. I mean, I guess we kind of already won in a way. Don't necessarily need to talk to people, but it'd be nice, you know? Yeah, so they didn't change any of the signs. That's good. I'll just walk around a bit and see if anybody has any speech bubbles like they want to speak. I'm sure this lady's gonna be pretty unhappy with me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna have a talk with her. Hi, 1K. You know, I've been coming to this memorial day after day, thinking about Alexandra Drennan and her values. And you know what I finally realized? Alexandra Drennan is dead. She's gone. She can't help us now. It's not her burden anymore. No, it's Byron who embodies those values now. Byron and you. So I want you to know that you have my full support. I only wish I'd spent less time thinking about the past more time actually doing something for the future. Yeah. This one's still blocked off, curiously. Although, uh, huh? 
<laughs> I don't think it's supposed to look like this, but we can listen to it now. I look at this inert shape and I wonder who you're gonna be. Will you hold the same values as we do? Will you love us for having created you? Will you resent us for having put you into an uncertain and dangerous world? Looking back at our history, our achievements, our crimes, what will you make of us? Will the world you create be like ours or so different that we can't even imagine it? Either way, I hope that you'll find this little blue planet to be as beautiful as we did. I hope you'll take care of it a lot better than we did. And I hope one day you'll look up and reach for the stars. It all makes sense now. Yep, I figured it'd be something like that, and that that would be why it was blocked off before. Because it was going against the goal. Ah, oh, let's stay on the street. We're more likely to run into people that way. Hey, 1K. Hello. I think I might have missed somebody here before when I watch when I watch somebody else's playthrough. Founder bless you, friend. Byron is a dangerous man. His belief in an objective, knowable reality, his fanatical dedication to this teleological narrative of human progress. These ideas should not have been allowed to dominate our government. Well, I evidently didn't miss much. Hey, 1K. Hello. Where was that person who was feeling lonely? There you are. First, let's pet the cat. In the exact same place as it was before. Hasn't moved at all. <laughs> Good kitty. Staying perfectly still for multiple weeks. Or maybe this is just your usual hangout spot at this time of day. I don't know. Thank you for supporting Byron, 1K. He understands what this is really about. Not technology or science, but love. Love of humanity, yes, but within that, space for individual love to flourish. When you find Athena, please remember that. All right. Welcome back. Thank you. Hmm. Not sure where else to go, really. Who are you again? Oh, this doesn't go back very far in history, does it? Uh, I don't remember who this person is. Sorry. I'm glad to see you made it, 1K. You All right, was this the person who I helped decide? Yeah. Said, and I did. I really sat down and thought about what the city owes its citizens. You know what I decided? It owes us a future we can believe in. It owes us the chance to do meaningful work that helps the city get better. 
And thanks to your expedition, I now understand that that's exactly what the Founder believed in as well. You have to save her and learn the theory of everything, 1K. Anything else would totally suck. Best of luck, 1K. Oh, no sign of Cornelius, I suppose. Oh, neither still solved. <laughs> I guess uh, either somebody solved them recently, or they did not get reset for when I solved them. Oh, you're the person who I agreed with before, aren't you? Good luck. Thank you. See, it was Athena who sent Prometheus, and they found Byron alive, just like I said. Well, if you're so clever, what's next? Honestly, I have no idea. Could go either way. For once, we agree. Where's the gardener guy? Oh, there he is. A lot's changed since you last walked the gardens, 1K. Well, I think you're gonna need that confidence going into the final chapter of this story. Good luck to you. One K, you're back on your feet. One of which I fixed, by the way. You're welcome. Thank you. Of course I will. I think I might want this even more than you do. I want to explore. I want to build. I want to be more than this grumpy old mechanic going through the motions. I want to live. See you there. All right. You know what? I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.